administering your medication isn't a difficult process once you have had appropriate instructions. Please follow these step-by-step -step instructions. If you have any questions, we are available to assist. Before you start, please read your instructions carefully and make sure that you know the correct dose that you need to inject. First, take the required number of Menopure vials of powder from the plastic trays in the box. For four vials of powder or less, you'll need to mix with one ampule of water. For more than four vials of powder, you'll need to use one and a half ampules of water. Remove the blue caps from the Menopure vials. Remove the syringe from the packaging. Remove the large pink mixing needle from the packaging and attach the pink needle onto the syringe, making sure that the needle fits securely. Open the water ampule by holding it by the top and swirling it around so all the water goes into the bottom of the ampule. Face the blue dot on the ampule upwards towards the ceiling. If you are right-handed, hold the bottom half of the ampule in your left hand. Holding the top part of the ampule in your right hand, snap the top downwards away from the blue dot. Discard the top part into the sharps container. Place the ampule on a flat surface. Remove the plastic cap from the pink needle and put the needle in the bottom corner of the water ampule at a slight angle with the bevel side to the bottom and draw all the water into the syringe. Push the needle through the center of the rubber at the top of the Menopure valve, placing the needle halfway into the valve. Gently push the water into the valve. The powder will dissolve instantly. Push the needle into the bottom corner of the valve. Draw all the medication back into the syringe. Turn the valve upside down, making sure to hold onto both the plunger and syringe together in order to prevent the fluid from being sucked back into the valve. It is okay to have an air gap in the syringe. Repeat this with the rest of the valves until the correct dose has been drawn up into the syringe. In the event of multiple bubbles in the valve, make sure to draw up all the bubbles and liquid into the syringe. Do not worry about air bubbles in the syringe at this stage. Cover the needle with the plastic cap and remove the pink needle by screwing it off. Remove the small yellow needle from the packaging and tightly screw it onto the syringe. Remove the plastic cap from the yellow needle. After tapping the syringe to get all the air to the top, gently push all the air out of the syringe until you see the medication appear in the yellow part of the needle. The best position for administering an injection is to sit in a chair. Lean back against the chair comfortably. It is not necessary to clean the area with an alcohol swab. But if you wish to do this, make sure to dry the area with a tissue or cotton wool before administering the injection. The injection can be administered anywhere in the abdomen, in this area below the belly button. Support the flesh between your thumb and finger. Do not squeeze too hard. Push the needle into the abdomen at a 45 to 90 degree angle. The 90 degree angle reduces post-injection bruising. Inject the medication. Ensure that the plunger of the syringe goes all the way in and all the medication is administered. Do not pull the needle out immediately. You can count to five to ensure all the medication has been injected and then pull the needle out. 
gently press on the injection area. Cover the needle with the cap and discard appropriately into the sharp container.